uh, right now I think it's the right time to get into uh, the course details and what exactly the course offers uh, with respect to different subjects. Could you briefly speak about different semesters and uh, say what exactly did you guys get to study in one or two lines about each subject? Okay, so I'll answer for this one. Um, so the first semester when we arrive here, so we are given few subjects and we are told not to take too many subjects because it becomes too hectic in the beginning. So we need to get accustomed to the course structure and the study process generally in Germany. So there were five courses mm -hmm. along with German uh, in the first semester, which is advised by, but you can take any number of courses. You can also decide to take all 18 courses in one semester and finish it. There's no foundation to that, but you know, it's not practically possible. So generally what is advised is to take these subjects. So the subjects in the first semester were like advanced FEM. Mm -hmm. And uh, there was a subject called AS yeah. Automotive Soft uh, Advanced Software Engineering, numerical, numerical, uh, numerical methods for mechanical engineers, and tensor algebra, along with German. So these were the courses. Uh, so we got uh, the classes and the lectures beginning. Uh, the most difficult subject uh, is FEM, I would say, mm -hmm. along with three, four more, but it is one of the most difficult subjects in uh, Kame. And uh, the f this is what we study when we open the script. It's almost impossible to read it in the first go because you're not able to understand anything. And then you get started to work on the courses, questions, scripts, and then the first shock which we got was when we went to the first exam and that was advanced FEM and we were not aware of how German system of education works, how the examination works. So generally you're given one minute for one point, so 120 points and 120 marks and it's, I would say it's impossible to finish the whole paper in 120 minutes. Because first of all, you don't know everything. Mm -hmm. That's not possible that you know everything. And even if you know, you won't be able to finish it because the time is less. Because they expect it's just three or four questions in the whole paper. And if you mess up in the beginning, then the whole question is ruined and the whole paper is ruined. And you don't have time to think in the paper. You just start scrabbling on the sheet of paper as soon as you're given the question paper so that you are able to score more you're not given a lot of time to think. So this makes it very difficult for subjects like these. There was one more subject, uh, Advanced Software Engineering, where they teach you Java. Uh, and I don't know if I would say that it's easy or difficult, but a lot of people find it dif difficult to clear that exam mm -hmm. because the mark is, marking is very stringent. Uh, this is my experience, like I find it difficult. Uh, it would be easier for few people who would be accustomed to coding background, but I wasn't. I didn't like coding, and mm -hmm. so I wasn't accustomed to coding pro profile and background. So it was difficult for me. Okay. So in general, I would say the subjects, uh, there was one more subject, numerical methods for mechanical engineering. It's basically maths. It's mm -hmm. not much to do in there. It's easy subject. And... It's not very complicated and difficult to score a very good grade in that subject. Okay. Then coming to the second semester, I see that it, as per the curriculum, it has more in-depth subjects such as continuum mechanics, failure of structures, multi-body dynamics. What exactly is the course content in these kind of subjects? Uncle? I am not answering all these questions. These are all English subject questions. I can just tell you that mm -hmm. The second semester is the summer semester. Okay. Mm -hmm. And with summer comes sunlight and happiness and life gives you hope. Mm -hmm. So in, in the first semester, I think I went under depression also because of the winter depression that mm -hmm. happens. I think most people mm -hmm. uh, at some point face that. Uh, so we could not take a lot of subjects even for, I think, we dropped tensor algebra uh, towards the end mm -hmm. because of this reason, because it was too much for us to handle. Mm -hmm. uh, I remember sitting in the buses crying because Java was hell for us. We had no background in Java. And that course, 
it starts with the first day i can tell you about the java it starts with uh, encapsulation uh, polymorphism and all those topics and then you're like yeah i'm done what else is there and then the real thing starts and like it's really cool but then i had to finish a complete book to actually even barely survive in the course and i know how much effort it i had to put in uh, so it it's definitely a, one of the most difficult courses if you do not know java but for somebody who knows java mm-hmm. it's a walk through the cake so okay. that you have to take it uh yes after the depression comes the summer uh, summer i took up i think nine subjects mm-hmm. out of which one was cfd so cfd you do not clear uh, on the first go mm-hmm. for most people i think normal people uh so eight subjects i cleared and yes all this mbd mm-hmm. which is multi body dynamics was one of my favorite subjects mm-hmm. back in the past it was uh, paper based so, so you wrote the answers and everything so it was much more difficult okay but now it's online so you have multiple choice answers so that way it has become easier so i think people tend to feel less now as in bunch of other subjects i think second semester is not not very difficult it's mm-hmm. just that the amount of subjects make it a little hectic, little bit more hectic yeah but one thing that helped us was the pandemic okay so we did not have a lot of distraction anyway we did not go out or we could not go out so uh, that might also affect the new batch that comes in because in some ways you'll have a lot of student parties mm-hmm. so i don't know how things work okay. yeah. so, uh, if i may ask do you guys uh, learn any softwares in these subjects or do you learn the basics of these softwares so i'll tell you we have different um, uh subjects in which you have mm-hmm. software association as well for example in electives you have two choices practical introduction to fem mm-hmm. one and two so in which you have a detailed explanation of how to work on answers mm-hmm. for the structural analysis static analysis whatever it is mm-hmm. related to structural analysis and you get a lot of time because you are putting two semesters mm-hmm. into that practical introduction to fem 1 and 2 so you get a lot of insights and knowledge about their software and there were few more things for example numerical methods for mechanical engineers mm-hmm. they have um put matlab classes into that as well but they won't teach you the basics of the software mm-hmm. they are not interested in teaching you how the software works mm-hmm. they are just interested in teaching you how you can take the subject questions and put in matlab and how to work on that thing Okay. So okay. they expect a basic knowledge mm-hmm. beforehand okay. in that course. So they're not going to teach you the software how it's going to work. Mm-hmm. And we have you have two three subjects like this. For example, there was one more uh, reliable simulation in which they teach you a uh, it's software called FlexPD in which they tell you how to solve the differential equations. But not much. So I won't say there's a lot of software scope happening in Kame mm-hmm. apart from FEM answers. Okay. Yeah. So uh, then we go into the third semester, wherein I see subjects such as computational intelligence in engineering, then production management, and also artificial uh, neural networks in structural mechanics. It looks more like uh, uh, futuristic uh, topics and mm-hmm. subjects. Uh, mm-hmm. What exactly is your opinion after uh, you guys have taken these courses? We did not. <laughs> this. is okay. a new curriculum mm-hmm. this wasn't there in our time okay. but we had the option of choosing an uh, in structural mechanics mm-hmm. but uh, we didn't give it yeah okay so and these are, these were electives at least for us mm-hmm. yeah so we did not have to and we already had decided okay which electives do we want mm-hmm. so we took i think tensa 1 pfm 1 pfm 2 which is practical introduction to fem long name uh, and one more was uh, uh, reliable simulation reliable simulation that was a very easy subject so to uh, i think in the first semester everybody is like yeah i'm going to kill it i'll be the class topper and everything and by the third semester like how yeah, do you're i just struggling clear this subject clear the subject <laughs> how how can i finish it off so you then your conversations change you're asking people your seniors like is this subject easy uh, we'll definitely pass no 
so that's how the, everything changes after a couple of semesters then you become a little mm-hmm. uh, silent you you kind of like okay yeah we'll see dude yeah yeah you yeah, get energy is that acceptance gone. that yeah you just need to clear the exam no need to fight because even if you do that it requires a lot of things and a lot of mental happiness is also required to clear all those subjects and there are a lot of things going around you need to find internship you need to finish your mini thesis as well so there's a lot of burden on you okay. so you just, just not keep concentrating on one thing you know just because you you did well in india mm-hmm. definitely does not guarantee you that you'll do well here that that's never a case but if you're hard working enough and you're disciplined enough okay and enough has already a very high standard it's like german standard enough yeah then you'll survive mm-hmm. barely i know a couple of people from iits mm-hmm. who studied also and they are geniuses literally and so you, that that's a different ball game Th- they could still study very less mm-hmm. and they could still clear it because they they had a much more difficult life already mm-hmm. but as people from mit we had very good faculty so they taught us really well we already did a, made a lot of notes in classes yes. mm-hmm. so that structure you will not find here these lecturers are very different and do not expect to understand everything that they're teaching you also i th- i don't think everybody goes to the lectures but if you go you will not understand everything you have to work out everything on your own i also see that like uh, from what you guys already said the course has been slightly modified for uh, the upcoming years at least yeah. so yeah. but overall the gist would remain the same i believe so uh, if i ask you guys to summarize on the overall course what would it be and by that what i mean is uh, by doing this course what exactly do you get into and what exactly do you learn so okay you get lot of fields open for you mm-hmm. after studying this course you have option of fem cft mm-hmm. multi body simulations you have you can go to structural mechanics and now the introducing uh, introduction of ann into this you can get into that field as well so you have lot of options open up for you but basically if i would have to say lot of people enter the field of fem design and stuff related to that and it could be in any of the industry it doesn't matter it has to be automotive or anything it could be any industry working on this platform and as we are aware that most of the companies would be using these tools and uh, my question to ankur would be i see also that this course offers two different tracks conception and uh, production track okay both of you are studying conception but uh, do you guys know any visible differences between these two tracks how does it make a difference if someone takes a production track i know a guy mm-hmm. called carlos he was from spain and he took the production track mm-hmm. so i remember one of the first meetings that i had with him the first conversation about this and he said that yeah i, I took the production track and i kind of mm-hmm. judged him for it i think that that's a bias that a lot of indians also have for production because we see production as a labor class work and conception and design work as a high office work so i'm like why why do why would you want production track mm-hmm. and like so in germany it's mm-hmm. very different or let's say in europe uh, how you deal with production related challenges is very different it's a very structured kind of work mm-hmm. so if you like structure if you like following processes there are a bunch of subjects for manufacturing methods so if you already are interested into all that definitely production track is for you okay it has a lot of great works and especially things like 3d printing and these kind of new technologies i know th- is calling 3d printing a new technology is a cliche but even in that you have a lot of yeah. improvement now so uh, definitely check this out see the list of subjects for yourself and judge based on that okay short summary is it's maths yeah mm-hmm. matrices uh calculus advanced calculus not not yeah, simple yeah. shit so if you are not good with these two mm-hmm. 
don't opt for it no 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 you can still opt i would want you to struggle because mm-hmm. all those tears and everything will just give you confidence for your life mm-hmm. if that's what you're looking for but if you're looking for a relatively happy experience then don't opt for it yeah yeah then get into hockshall wrestling <laughs> so probably probably yeah, he's trying to sell you <laughs> okay yeah, so, so if you're not comfortable with math yeah mm-hmm. i think it would be very difficult for you to take this course because most of the subjects revolve around math um, and, so, sorry kk but to put it in perspective i was not good at engineering maths mm-hmm. okay uh, uh grade wise still i survived but abhishek it was really good at maths kk of course you are also great at maths but for me for let's say a subject like numerical methods would be super difficult if i was not actually living with abhishek so he he lived with me we lived in the same apartment and uh, he kind of coached me through the subject so one of the most important thing that even we were told was that you also also should be studying in a group or have study partners mm-hmm. because surviving this course alone oh. yeah not possible yeah so try to find friends also who want to sail in the same boat mm-hmm. then maybe your life can be a little easier okay so uh, i think it's more or less uh, very much clear about uh, what exactly the course offers what are the different subjects 